Okay, everyone, I'm back for part two of understanding the definition of what kidney failure is. Okay, as you saw in number one, um, this is number two, DOS. This is number two. Okay, the symptoms of kidney failure. Some kidney disease begin without any symptoms at all. As kidney failure progresses, some of the following symptom, symptoms may develop. And I'm reading off of, um, off of my um, form of when I did the health fair, y'all. Um, I'm not going to read all of it because it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, fluid retention. These are the symptoms. Swollen hands and feet. Um, that can result in a uh, fluid buildup. Uh, numbness of hands and feet. See, when you drink something... Fruits and vegetables also retain water, so you have to be careful with that. You can build up if you're not, if you don't have any kidneys and your kidneys are not working, and it it actually builds on urine, and you're drinking a lot of juices and sodas or wine or beer or or vegetables and fruits. It stays in your body and it builds up and it can um, fill into your lungs and kill you and suffocate you. That's just what it is. Itchy skin. Fatigue, that's if itchy skin can result in high phosphorus. I've had that with my whole body itches. I'm like, what the heck? What is going on? It was phosphorus. My phosphorus was high. I was eating, a, drinking a lot of soda. Pepsis. Mmm, high in phosphorus. Fructose and phosphorus. Um, low urine output, which we spoke on about the fluid buildup. Frequent urination. Loss of appetite and malnutrition. Malnutrition. Malnutrition, sorry. Sores, bed, um, sorry. Bad taste in the mouth, nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, muscle cramps and twitches, shortness of breath. I remember about two years ago, I remember my eye kept going like this. It kept like flickering and I thought I was having a seizure. I never had a seizure a day in my life, but I thought it was a seizure. I was like, yo, I was freaking out. I was like, yo, doctors, what is going on? My eye is twitching and I, man, it was crazy. Um, swelling throughout the body, high blood pressure, weak, brittle bones. I have um, osteosporosis, y'all, um, when my bones are weak. Um, and my and bones can eat away. That's why I have to take some um, some medication. Um, just one, thank God, uh, for my bones. Um, yellowish brownish skin tone. Um, I was actually lighted in this, and my skin had darkened up. Um, but you know what? You deal with what you have, um, y'all. All right. So the diagnosis: blood test, urine test, renal imaging. And biopsy. That's what they do to determine if you have kidney failure. And the treatment is, uh, um, you have to go on dialysis. That's basically right now the only treat treatment. Dialysis where they do uh, accessing your arm. You see, I was cut open y'all in the arm. Can you see? I know y'all can't see. It's long here. You see stitched right here, and um, my chest, y'all. Right here on my chest, I had a catheter in my chest, and they pop open your vein, and they see if they can get a deep vein, so that they can, I wish they didn't cut me from here to here, y'all, but that's what it is, you know, um, they cut me right here, right here, and right here, because my veins are so tiny, and tomorrow, actually, pray for me, y'all, I'm about to get another surgery right here, because they saw a map in my vein, at had Sack University, and if it doesn't work, I can get an emergency transplant, because I have no more accesses, the one on my leg is dying, it's shutting down, they put a, a stent in it, three times, two times, and it does not work, so let's pray for a miracle, y'all, let's pray for a miracle, and I'm going to pray for y'all, um, if you have any questions, please email me, text message me, um, um, send a subscription, subscribe to me, y'all, subscribe. This is very educational. I want to inform the world, whoever's watching, that this is so important, y'all. You have to take care of your body. If you want to live, if you don't want to live, oh, well, what can I say? But, you know, if you want to live, take care of your body. Um, those are just some of the things of what it is, and... When you get a transplant, they actually put the transplant in the front. Isn't that something? Um, but it's a life-changing decision. It's, it's a, it's a life-changing thing. Um, 
Ta-da! Yeah. It, it, to prevent it, you have to maintain normal blood pressure. If you are diabetic, control your blood sugar. Don't be stupid and eat all the candies and cakes and all of the, the goodies that you crave. Um, avoid long-term exposure to toxic substances such as lead and solvents. Do not abuse alcohol or over-the-counter pain medication. If you have chronic kidney failure, consult your doctor before you become pregnant. Oh my God, that's another thing, y'all. Women. Women, please, y'all. Women, get it together. Um, <laughs> I don't get it. You get pregnant, and I see women. I, when I first went there, and it's been three and a half years now, I've been in dialysis. I see women that become pregnant, and they have to go every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They one day off. Because can you imagine all of those poisons are getting into the baby's mouth, the stomach, the whole body. Oh, Galindo. Yeah, uh, the babies, you know. And some of the doctors tell the babies, to t people to terminate their babies. I don't agree with that because I don't believe in abortions. I don't. I think once that sperm and that egg hits, it's a baby. God already manifested in his in his in his whole heart and soul. He already created that baby. But that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> I do not agree with abortions. You should see these different articles about abortions. So I'm gonna get deep with y'all, y'all. Whether y'all like it or not. It's gonna get deep. So y'all teenagers, but that's a whole nother thing. But you know, think about it. There's foster care. There's you know, there's so many other things that you can do. Um I know I have allergies, y'all. Um, I apologize. But kidney failure is no joke. It's a life-changing thing. You have to go three times a week. There are people you can work. Uh, you can do many things. There are people that do have children. So don't think, oh, everybody that's doing have kidney failure, you know, don't have children. It's like we're regular people. We go to school. There are children on dialysis. Um, I still go places. Once I do my treatment, I get Tuesday. Thursday and Saturday and Sundays off, which is a blessing. And I go to the malls. I shop my heart out. I do everything. <laughs> so it's not like I don't do anything, you know. So it's it's just a life changing. So subscribe to me, ask questions if you want to understand more about what I do and how I feel about dialysis and you know and how did I uh, become aware of it. But how I became aware of it. Um, was basically I was always born with medical problems. I had over a hundred surgeries, y'all. I'm a miracle in the making. A miracle in the making. I had over a hundred surgeries. I'm a living testimony. You hear me? A living testimony. And yes, it's been a hundred. If you combine the kidney failure with the um, other medical problems, I've had colostomies, ileostomies, and perforated anus, urethra, and continent. I'm going to get into that. But let me tell y'all something. I'm opening my life today. I'm opening my book today. I'm teaching you what it's all about. I'm educating you of what it is all about. And if you have these illnesses, whether you had um, ileostomies or perforatus, urethra, and continent, kidney failure, you talk to me. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about it. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for the world. I'm ready to conquer the world. Let's let's talk about it. I'm 29 years old. There's no holding back for my peace. You feel me? No holding back. I'm ready. I'm ready for y'all. So you have questions, you talk to me. Okay? All right? If you want to understand or learn more, if you're angry about what's going on in your life, you're angry about, oh my God, I'm suffering with heart problems. I'm suffering with kidney failure. Let's talk about it, baby. Let's talk about it, y'all. Talk to me. You hear me? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. And I love y'all. My time is running. And um, I just want to tell y'all, hold strong. Keep the faith. Pray. Pray. And just ask God for serenity and peace. And forgiveness, y'all. We're going to talk about another one about forgiveness. You got to forgive and the windows would open up. It took me three years to forgive somebody. And um, I'm not going to blow him up. But um, he promised me a kidney. And um, he, never, he reneged on his promise. But I give God the glory. And y'all need to pray about that. So uh, we'll talk about it later. I love y'all. Okay? Bye.